Santosh works two part-time jobs to sustain his family of four. An EV driver in Delhi for the past five years, two years ago, he switched from ferrying passengers to making deliveries for e-commerce companies on his e-mobile. जाते हैं यहाँ पे ड्यूटी पर जाना पड़ता है ये अमेज़न के लिए उसमें मैं स्लॉट मिलता है शाम का टाइम में तीन बजे करीब मिलते हैं फिर उसके बाद उसको नौ बजे तक रात में क्लियर करना पड़ता है टीवी में अच्छा ही भी पोल्यूशन नहीं होता है उससे और पेट्रोल से बेहतर है पार्ट ऑफ अ मोर फॉर्मलाइज्ड वर्क he now has health benefits and a short monthly salary of about 17000 rupees and is playing a role in helping achieve a greener planet like santosh about 1800 drivers today are part of zingu a platform that is set to be on a mission to electrify last mile connectivity in the e-commerce universe which is basically vehicles that deliver to your doorstep from milk bread and gadgets to pretty much everything that you're able to purchase online this is the urban threat pollution that we used to call it. So, uh, last mile delivery ecosystem was one of the significant contributors for this air pollution crisis in all the metro cities that we know of. EVs usually propel uh, at uh, almost 45% cheaper in terms of the costing, in terms of total cost of ownership. So, their cost per kilometer utility versus a cost per kilometer utility of an ICE vehicle is way lesser. Also, you know, EVs don't do any kind of, there are zero carbon emissions. They have no uh, carbon dioxide emissions at all. We live in times when almost any utility item can be delivered to us within minutes. India's quick commerce market, the one that aims to deliver products within a 30 minute to a one hour window, is expected to grow to five and a half billion dollars by 2025, 15 times its current size. This naturally means consequences for the environment. The Stand.Earth research group conducted a study that involved last mile emissions of the six largest global delivery companies in India. Collectively, their emissions added up to close to 4.5 megatons of carbon dioxide, equivalent roughly to annual carbon dioxide emissions of 1 million petrol passenger vehicles. This is particularly worrying for Delhi, where AQI levels are in the 400 ppm range. 80% of transport emissions is uh, actually emissions, emissions in our breathing zone. Okay, so that's a very, very large number. So which is why, so when we say transport emissions, it could be, you know, commercial transport, personal, private transport. But uh, uh, mostly it is commercial transport, right? Which, uh, which is what is affecting us, mostly from fossil fuel combustion. Last year, the Delhi government introduced a few new campaigns, like SWITCH, to add to its efforts at arresting what's becoming a recurrent and acute problem. The state has now issued a deadline to vehicle aggregators in the cab, food and e-commerce delivery segments to convert their entire fleet to electric by April 2030. And we have had very, very positive results on the uptake of electric vehicle registrations. This year, in fact last year, 2022, 10% of new registrations were electric. And in December, we touched uh, a point of 16%. And in fact, uh, the biggest change is coming in the commercial vehicle segment, uh, where for last mile uh, delivery of uh, goods, uh, in 2022, 60% of vehicles registered were electric. So uh, it's a major shift that we are seeing in Delhi. Handling 47% of its business in Delhi, for Amazon Fresh, one of the largest online grocery stores in the country, and with almost all the e-commerce majors as partners, Zingo can be considered a formidable player of the green movement in logistics. But challenges remain. 
I think the broader challenges that everybody face right now is the lack of infrastructure in the market. So when you talk about charging equipment, when you talk about electrical connections by and dealing with discoms, there is still a snag. Apart from range anxiety while on the road, for some three-wheel drivers, charging at home itself can be a challenge. My uh, interaction with a lot of three-wheeler drivers has been the um, the lack of charging access where they live. Lot of them do not live in homes where there is either charging access or possibility of an access and two-wheeler uh, owners, drivers, who have talked about difficulties in having um, charging points either uh, installed in their you know homes or in basements or uh, within their the places they live even if it is not a gated community one of the players helping to build a workable energy infrastructure for EVs is a company called Sun Mobility to tackle the principal problem of charging it offers a pay-as-you-go model through which drivers can swap batteries at designated swap points spread over a five to six kilometer radius. The company charges 54 rupees for a swap, considerably lower than the average 80 to 200 rupees at other swapping stations, it claims. Very simply put, we detach the battery from the vehicle, uh, from the electric vehicle. A discharged battery comes into the station, uh, he puts it into the station and a fully charged battery comes out. We are at Dwarka in southwest Delhi, where Sun Mobility, in partnership with DMRC, the Delhi Metro Rail Corporation, has rolled out close to 140 e-mobiles for passenger last mile connectivity. They are spread across eight metro stations, equipped with facilities to swap batteries. For the last two and a half months, Bhanu Pratap has been using Sun Mobility's swap point twice a day at the Dwarka Mode metro station. His daily earnings have gone up by about 1000 rupees from when he used to ride his petrol run rickshaw, he says. वो वायर हां वायर वो के लिए हमार को कोई समस्या नहीं होती क्योंकि हमारे लिए यहां पे पॉइंट बने हुए हैं हम यहां डायरेक्ट आते हैं ये टोकन वगैरह हमार को दिए हुए हैं टोकन से एग्जैक्टली हमारे रिचार्ज हो जाता है उससे बैटरी हमार को मिल जाती है पहले वाली बैटरी से हमारे लिए बेस्ट है क्योंकि हमार को कोई दिक्कत नहीं होती इसमें एग्जैक्टली हमार को आते ही 10 15 20 मिनट में हमार को चार्जिंग हमारी पूरी मिलती है Kailash Singh points to the merits of using lithium-ion batteries over lead acid. Actually, in this case, there are two things that we have to charge the bill of charging. The bill of the bill is saved. The water 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 is saved. Partnering with over 10 OEMs, including Zingo, Sun Mobility has about 8,000 e-vehicles operating in Delhi. With a presence in 18 cities, the endeavor is to create an ecosystem that provides EV drivers access to latest battery technologies through their vehicle life cycle, without having to keep buying batteries. They're also making it cheaper for passengers at 10 rupees for the first two kilometers and five for every kilometer subsequently. With battery swapping, what we're doing is we're basically eliminating the cost of the battery out of the system. And we're offering players uh, and customers to use electric vehicles at cheaper prices uh, than your normal electric vehicles and even cheaper than your normal ICE vehicles. Which is a win-win situation for two-wheelers, three-wheelers, uh, loaders, e-rickshaws all across, in, across all segments. In December 2022, Delhi registered the highest ever monthly EV sales in the country at over 16% of its overall vehicular sales. The 2020 Delhi EV policy aims to ensure that by 2024, 25% of all new registrations are electric, securing the distinction of being the EV capital of the country. When we say EV capital, uh, the first vision that comes is that there are lots of electric vehicles on the road. 
we will get there we are working towards it right uh, there are mandates now right to have 25% of vehicles as evs in especially fleet vehicles once that happens uh, i think life will be different i and uh, in terms of challenges yeah more access to charging stations if you have more number of charging stations you don't need very large batteries in your vehicles small batteries will do you can quick charge and go for a certain trip quick charge and go so then your batteries don't have to store a lot of energy they can be smaller if the batteries are smaller then the vehicles don't have to cost so much meanwhile it's the green army of ev drivers like santosh who are leading the movement on the ground while also getting a chance to realize their dreams जब मैं घर बनाए हैं गांव में घर बना रखे हैं जब से काम किया था उससे पैसा बचा के तीन साल से गांव में घर बनाए थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग इको इंडिया इफ यू लाइक द स्टोरी प्लीज गिव अस अम्स अप एंड सब्सक्राइब टू स्क्रोल डॉट इन ऑन यूट्यूब